Hey, happy Thursday. I bet you're kind of sick of seeing this mug of death, but don't fret. I'm only here briefly to intro you into the third episode of Wake and Skate. I'm gonna keep this kind of short and sweet so I can show you the skater as promised from last week. This one's gonna be all about our skate mom, cutesy bootsy. Don't ask her how she got her name, but simply ask her to spin around and you'll be hypnotized by her ability to twirl endlessly like nobody's business. She's the owner of our favorite skate spot. Her garage mini pipe is heated and always stocked with the beer and snacks that your heart can desire. And you can bet your bottom dollar that you're gonna find the most epic encouragement there that Bootsy's famous for. Always hyping up her friends to consistently crush it. We simply wouldn't be the skaters we are today without her. No need for any more of an intro on this OG cause Bootsy's got that covered. So let's sit back and learn more about this skater's lengthy and legendary history right here on Wake and Skate. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Full airplane, oh here we go. Full airplane! Casey Bootsy coming at you from my basement because I'm self-isolating as most of us should be doing. Death has asked me to do a little bio on myself and to answer some questions about my life and roller skating and uh, I've got quite a history I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> as they like to call me the OG. Uh, yeah, I, roller skating has been a huge part of my life and for a very long time I guess we start from the beginning. I, uh, Sarah is my name that not many people call me. <laughs> I am 38 years old and I have a 13 year old daughter that I love. She's amazing. Um, skating. My grandfather uh, worked at the very first uh, Canadian Tire in Canada as a stock boy. And back then they wore roller skates to get around a little faster. So. You know, you can kind of see it's just kind of in my blood. But not only that, my grandfather actually met my grandmother at a roller rink in Toronto. And that's how, you know, they got together. So I love that it is that much in my life. Um, I started roller skating probably, well, I mean, there's a picture of me and my papa. I'm probably three or four in those little like Fisher Price skates, just like walking around. But <laughs> I actually started skating, skating uh, probably when I was about five or six. I lived on a court with a bunch of girls and we used to put on our dresses and we'd share skates if we didn't have enough. And we just skate around and have so much fun. Uh, when I was eight years old, the opportunity to uh, join roller skating lessons came up. One of my neighbors was doing it and I was like, yeah. So I did that and I really liked it. So there was an opportunity to go on to junior club, which was uh, where you started jumping and spinning and learning figures and dance um, and competing. So I had my first competition um, in January of 1994. Yay, I was 11. <laughs> um, and I did not do awesome. But I had fun, and that's what matters. <laughs> um, I figure skated until I was about 14 years old. Um, I ended up being at the rink four days a week, uh, you know, three to four hours of practice. But I was 14, and it was high school happened, and I just didn't really fit in anymore. And, you know, the politics kind of played a little bit in that too. So I kind of lost the love for competing but I never lost the love for actually skating. So I did work at Wheelie's. Wheelie was my first job when I was 18 years old and I had so much fun. I hosted birthday parties, worked the concession stand, listened to the music. Oh my God, I loved it. It was so fun. I just, I wish there was still a rink here, just like that one, it was awesome. Roller skating kind of, you know, left my life. Something I always thought about, but just, um, and then one of my girlfriends was working on set 
in Toronto and her makeup artist actually skated with Tord and had mentioned that um, Durham Region was starting up a team. So she uh, hooked me up with an email address and I sat on it for a good two weeks just being like, oh man, like, I didn't know this was real. <laughs> like I'd seen it on TV, but I don't know. So I actually was on my birthday, probably my 26th or 27th birthday. I decided to go. They were so welcoming and I had a great time. It was amazing. They started off, you know, we were small, so it was just a little team. And, you know, eventually it got to the point where we grew and we had to split into two teams. Adam Smashers, Motor City Madams. Um, I skated with Motor City Madams for about four or five years. And I think I captained uh, for two seasons. Come 2014, just my life needed some changes and Unfortunately, Derby just didn't fit into that anymore. So uh, I quit, retired, whatever you want to call it. Played my last game, August of 2014. And I went to do yoga. Yoga's good, I like yoga. It's a very solo event. <laughs> and you know, over the years I came to realize that I like being a part of a team. I like skating with people and my friends. Um, after uh, Facebook shoving the memories in my face over and over and over again, it was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going back. So I think it was 2018, August, I joined the Fresh Meat program. Um, and yeah, I was drafted back to my old team in November and been with them ever since. And I love it. It's, I'm so glad that I went back. I just, a life without skating and without, <laughs> a team and friends like that just not as fun <laughs> and here comes the emotions because Bootsy got freaking iced earlier and I had to have a couple beers just to make it through this video so please bear with me and my tears <laughs> oh, ow. my first on skate goal well, I was like five or six, so I don't know. I guess when I was younger, I just, I wanted to win and stuff when I was competing, but I mean, I really just love being on my skates. So improvement is really just number one. Just practice, practice, get better, get better. And don't have the fear, because the fear sucks. I hate the fear. <laughs> nice! <laughs> You're so close to the end. Watching videos, looking at pictures and stuff like that. Um, I want to jam again. That's, you know, when I was jamming, there was just so much happiness on my face. I mean, obviously, you know, when I was getting annihilated, which, you know, could possibly be why I'm not jamming now, but yeah, I just, I loved that feeling of being able to find the holes and get through and just be like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as for park skating, just not being afraid. <laughs> don't die, don't break anything, because you've been there, done that. Don't want to do it again. <laughs> so yeah, that would be my two goals that I have in those different areas of my life. So the big question, what influence does roller skating meaning have in my life? Um, what roller skating has brought to me and to my life, <laughs> here we go, is just, I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing like it. Like, it's so crazy. My life without skating is okay. It's fine. Um, but it's definitely so much better with it. It has made me stronger, braver, more confident. Um, Confidence is huge, you know, it's huge. <laughs> Especially when you don't have much, so yeah. And the friendships. <sighs> uh, welcome to my hobby room. Uh, this is just kind of like my memorabilia room. Um, it's where I, hang up my derby stuff, my car club stuff, and obviously I like to skateboard a little bit too. Um, not so much lately because I've been on my skates a lot more, but 
welcome. So if we start out here, I have my little rack. Um, you know, just an MVP from when I was on the Durham Derby Devils. Um, a lot of people know that I love roller skating, so they like to um, give me old skates. So I do have quite a collection. Um, some MVPs from when I was a madam. Oh, this is from when I actually quit the first time. This was a trophy I donated. It was my dad's. Um, unfortunately, he passed away in 2011. And the girls redid this for me and uh, gave it to me when I quit. Give me my forever madam card. This is the wrist guard I had on uh, when I broke my wrist. <laughs> There is the white uh, figure skates that I started my derby career in. And then we go into here, into my room. So I guess we can start on this wall. We had an artist that used to come to our games. And so this was for the Derby Devils and then this was for the Motor City Madams. Just some derby art. Uh, we also are very involved in uh, a fundraiser for children with cancer, uh, Fender's Day that we've been doing for years. We used to do car washes and oh yeah, just so much fun stuff. Look at that, poster girl, what? <laughs> uh, fresh meat programs. This was a great gift that I got from somebody. Oh my God, I cried when I got it. It was my very last game that I had played. Just love it. Um, for my Dirty 30, a skateboard that a dear friend of mine uh, had made for me. Um, MVP blocker. This is a really cool skateboard because it is a roller derby skateboard. Yay! Just some skates and the old vintage boxes. My first pair of Moxies. Those are my daughter's skates. Um, a pair of my antics. I do have a couple more pairs, but they're up in the garage. Calendars. This is a book for my car club. Um, Neil Gunner, his awesome book. Uh, just some teams I had played with. Now, this is the original Motor City Madams dress. And god dang. <laughs> Man, I'm glad it's gone. Not, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I do actually own a 1973 on, uh, Cadillac uh, that I drive around and had a custom roof made for it that does have yeah. some derby stuff on it. Um, this shirt is from our very first game that we ever played as dirt. <laughs> um, I hyperventilated in that game and almost died. Um, this is when we used to play as Durham Region, or black, and then <laughs> there was the red and gold face that was not awesome. This is a, uh, a little patch on it. I don't know if you can see it. It says Gibson. Gibson was a little boy that we did a fundraiser for. Fortunately, he passed away from cancer, and he is the reason why the Gibson Cup um, started. When the Devils came out, these were our shirts that we had with a cute little tail on the back. Look at that. Um, I never played for the farmers, but I did help coach them for a while. So, Coach Bootsy. Um, <laughs> the Pregida Brill Jamazons. I had the shirt made. I was supposed to play with them. And I never did. That was sad. But whatever. And then the last time I played for the Madams um, before my retirement, this was our sort of less of a dress. But yeah. So welcome to my garage. If you follow me at all on um, Instagram, Facebook, um, you'll know that I spent a lot of time in here. I'm unfortunately by myself lately, which is just no fun at all. But you know, I try trying to get the kid out here. But she's 13. She likes TikTok, so I don't see her very much. Um, let's turn this around and show you what I got. So this is my mini ramp. <laughs> uh, we like to joke around, call it pipe dreams. I don't know why. I just came up with it one day. It's lame, but I don't care. And here's my mini rail that we made. Um, this thing has been kicking my ass. Um, but I love it and I am finally getting comfortable on it and feeling better. And then here's the big guy. Um, I am afraid of it at this point, um, but I'll get there. So yeah, this is uh, what I do and I uh, am feeling a little anxious or whatever. I come out here and I uh, escape. Uh, here's my, my favorite skates at the moment, my Moxies. 
my lilies. Um, just switched them up lately. Got some new um, Sure Grip Park trucks. And I actually, these wheels I used to use when I figure skated back in the day. Um, they were my figure wheels. So they're hard and they're small, uh, which is actually really good for riding the ramps and stuff. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my garage. And this is uh, where we hang out in the winter time. And I, uh, I can't wait for my friends to come back. So spread the love, spread the skate love. Skate life, skate life. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy and I hope you can see um, just how amazing and what a huge part of my life skating has been. Um, it's made me who I am today and I kind of like who I am. So I think that's pretty cool. Cheers. We'll be back next week with another episode. Potentially our last though, unless someone wants to send me some skate content that I would gladly edit in quarantine. <laughs> but this episode will be all about a skater that I personally haven't gotten to skate with, but I know is a total badass, both at the skate park and on the derby track. She's a recent transfer to Durham Region Roller Derby for the charter team. You can call her Red Lip Renegade. That is, if she hasn't already flown by you. <laughs> Join us next week for our potentially final episode of Wake and Skate. Till then, weirdlings, 